Hi, how's it going? I'm Jay Escobar, EscobarJ.com. This video is why adversity is a gift. And I've done two videos on this topic so far. And if you haven't seen those first two videos, I'll go ahead and link them down in the description below. And then if you're watching this on YouTube, I will post a link right there to the last video. And the last video, what we talked about is going through some sort of existential crisis. And today, what we're going to talk about is adversity. It causes you to question your own values and your own beliefs. And it's important to understand this because when, and I'm talking about true hardship adversity. I mean, if you're just like, obviously, if you're just, if it's something small, I mean, something small, like, for example, losing a job versus losing a loved one, those are two completely different types of hardship and adversity. Or another one being losing somebody very, very close to you or um, something to that effect or something that happens directly to you. Even a loss of job can cause what I'm about to talk to you about. Um, it can cause these things to happen. But the, it, the key point here, a key point here, is to know that when you're comfortable, you're typically resting on your laurels and values. And that means you're not necessarily living up to your highest potential. And that's the goal, whole goal in life is to self-actualize, to achieve the highest possible version of yourself. And when you go through pain, hardship, adversity, what that does is it causes you to question yourself inside and question internally question yourself on how you got to that point. Because obviously, if you, if <laughs> obviously you're at that point for a reason and you got there for a specific reason, and your life is made up of a series of your choices. And so when you go through those difficult times, what it does is it causes you to do some self introspection and ask yourself questions like, how did I end up here? Or what choices did I make to cause myself to get to this point? And that really forces you to question your own values and your own beliefs inside. And it causes you to change them and to, and that's how you make the permanent change. And this is why adversity is a gift because oftentimes we're just stuck in that rut and that's not enough to, even if we want to make a change or we want to do something, that's not necessarily enough to actually get us out of that complacency and actually achieve the highest versions of ourselves. And so a lot of times, you know, adversity can be a huge gift is because it forces you to just look inside and, and, take responsibility for the areas that you're sucking in, right? And the key thing here is it's really, if you think about it, it's nobody's fault but your own. Nobody. You decided to take that job. You decided to live where you live. You decided to marry the person you married. You decided to whatever, right? it's all you, you, you can eventually boil it down to you made some decision that got you to some place that put you in a circumstance that got you in the position that you were at. And so when you look at it from that perspective, what you need to do is take responsibility for everything in your own life. And even if something's not your fault, even if something, a third party or some, something external happened, um, you can still find ways to take responsibility for those things. So, and these are really key points to understand and to shift your mindset. It's kind of, it's almost like a paradigm shift when you think about it. And when you're actually going through it and you learn this stuff that I'm teaching you, um, it really, when you look back, like when I look back on my own life, the adversity that I've gone through, I have noticed that it actually is a gift in a way. It, I actually learned more. I learned a lot. I grew a lot. And those are the times that, w and if you think about it, when you get old, they say that you look back on your life, not at all the good times. Of course, you're going to remember some good times that you've had, but you're going to remember the times where you really suffered and you really had to dig deep and you really had to push through and you really had to make it work when you 
thought it was impossible. You, you thought that your life was going to end. And you look back at those times and you really appreciate them. You really find joy and beauty in those areas that you overcame and you conquered and you didn't quit and you were relentless. And that's the whole point to the topic is that's why adversity is a gift. Even though in the, in the moment it's difficult, it sucks. You don't want to do it. You, you know, you question like, why does God, like, why does this happen to me? Why are you letting this happen to me? Right. But we are very, very adaptable beings. And the person who adapts the best is the person who will survive. It's, it's kind of the strongest survive, right? But in, in our world today, it's about adapting. Not necessarily physically strong, although that is good. It's about adapting to your environment and your surroundings and the things that happen to you and then pushing forward no matter what those things happen. And that's why I always say in my videos at the very end, I always say always learning, always growing and always pushing forward because that embodies what I'm talking to you about. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You can also visit my website if you're going through something tough right now, or if you want to share a success story of, of a, you know, ways that you overcame adversity, share it on my website. You can go to my website at escobarj.com. You can also comment down below. If you'd like to make a donation, you can donate any amount of money that you feel is worth the value, excuse me, of the information in this video or any of my other videos for that matter. And uh, you can also shoot me an email detailing your situation or book a coaching session. Other than that, do me a favor and share this on, with your friends and family on any social media platform. My purpose is to get this out, this message out, and give to as many people as I possibly can. And by you sharing, that will help me accomplish that purpose. So I hope you're always learning, always growing, and always pushing forward. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.